Picked up a yard or so. Gives it his best. Madre! Oh! The South Australia Circuit 1989 and the Adelaide Crows were inaugurated into the AFL. A proud, proud day in our state's history. What a time it was to be alive. A young country boy hailing out from the west was starting to make a name for himself as a promising key forward. Taking home the flag in that year's amateur league. Ah, it was just a sign of things to come. We picked up as a mature age player in that year's draft. The Adelaide Crows selected Tony fucking Modra, a high flying, pack marking, goal kicking machine. Ah, oh, he was any coach's dream. Word had gotten out, this boy can play, they said. Why, well, we've never seen a player like this before. Modra mania had begun, a new king was crowned, and his name. His name is Modra, flying through the pack, it's Tony Modra. second year at the club, he kicked 129 goals and was named All-Australian, proving that he could stick it with the very best of them. Oh no, but he wasn't done there. After taking screamer after screamer with each season, it wasn't long before he gained cult-like status in this state, winning Mark of the Year on three separate occasions. You bloody ripper, Tony. Crowds flocked the gates as women would swoon and fathers took their sons to pay homage to this great man. His golden hair glistening through the southern sun. He was a fucking gun. Known for his aerial prowess and country charm, he had the ability to manufacture goals from out of thin air. His skills were unsurpassed, unrivaled, and can match any player in their prime. His name is Madra, flying through the pack. It's Tony Madra. Two sacred days. You played an integral part in getting the boys to the big dance, which isn't anything to be sniffed at by any means, because we're still bloody proud of you, mate. You played with names like Jarman, Bigley, Rashido McLeod, and even Graham Stiffy Jonko. But there can only be room for one demigod in this town, and that name is Nate.